Okay, hey, this is Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, today I have the biggest Swedish Guitar Nerd on YouTube, or probably the Swedish, biggest Swedish Guitar Nerd in the world. The accountant made Metal God, Ola Englund. Nice to meet you, thanks for ah, having me. Thank you for joining me, I'm, it's a big honor. Uh, okay, so we are at Sweden Rock Festival uh, 2007, and I'm just starting to sound check. 2017. 17, sorry. 2007 was 10 years ago. Oh, I think I missed that one. I was not, I was not, uh, I was not as famous back then, <laughs> so that would, wouldn't have been a good interview. No one <laughs> Maybe that would it. have been interesting to compare that one. No one will watch that interview. But <laughs> yeah, better luck this time. So when did you, your channel, when did it start? Uh, I think I started for real in uh, 2009. Okay, so it was... Uh, so it was kind of around the corner, and... but yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was still working and uh, basically did all the, that stuff on spare time. So uh, I didn't really... I mean, it was all a hobby and I just used whatever free time I had to make videos and it was basically because I thought it was a lot of fun. And now I'm doing it because it's not a lot of fun. It's because it's a <laughs> no, job. It's work. No, no, it's still a lot of fun. It's just that it, uh, people expect more of me. Oh yeah. yeah so. So, has your videos changed because of that? Do you do them in another way? Yeah, uh, in a way because whenever I try to, I like production and I like to like really push the limits of what I can do. You can tell. Exactly. So the problem is that if I push it more and more, I have to keep on <laughs> yes. pushing. So I mean, the videos take longer and longer to make. Which is a, it's a, it's my fault. I shouldn't have, but uh, yeah. But it's it's still fun. I like trying to evolve and you know work on my video skills and video editing and all that stuff. So uh, no, it's not like I'm complaining, but I am. Complaining, <laughs> anyway, here we are. Uh, I mean, your the style of videos have changed as well. I mean, in the beginning, you just did gear demos and no talking or anything. Yeah. It's just plain playing and nothing else. Yes. Uh, what made you make the different the change and I go in that I, direction? I think I just started caring less ah. about it because I mean it's when you're a Swede you're kind of at first you're kind of reluctant of even talking yeah. in English because oh, yeah. you don't know what people are going to say about you but uh, then I just stopped caring and I just start, started talking and uh, I mean the more you do it the easier it gets and you don't sound, sound as awkward <laughs> as you did when you started. Yeah, and, but, and but you can definitely hear like when I started talking, it's like it's very robotic and very, you know, very boring. No emotion, just talking straight into the camera. No shift of tone or anything. Right. But now it's more. I can definitely show more of myself, yeah. which is a big plus for sure. Yeah, you definitely get, you can tell when you watch your videos. It's much. It's probably one of the most entertaining and funny video channels on YouTube. I would say. Oh. So much. Maybe that's a Swedish thing. You Maybe have to be Swedish, Swedish to understand your humor. Yes, I don't know. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it, it's humor that is not humor. It's dark and <laughs> it's uh, no one understands it. It's a lot of irony that people do yeah, not, exactly. are not that's getting. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm not going to try and do, do something else because that would not be me. So I'm just trying to be myself and just hope that people enjoy it and that I don't fuck up. Yeah. Basically. And uh, I mean, the views talk for themselves, uh, speak for themselves. You have people apparently enjoy what you're doing. So. Yes, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so let's. You're here with the haunted. Yes. And that's another thing. Going from again being accountant to be playing with the haunted, uh, yes. one of the biggest metal festivals in the world. How was that change for you? How uh, you... It, it was. Uh, it was a contrast for I sure. Can <laughs> but. Uh, I pretty quickly got into it. I mean, I've always been, always been having the dream of going out on tour with a band and stuff like. So for me, it was an easy choice. It was not like I had to think a lot what they asked. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, I'm I'm happy. I mean, uh, it's it's very easy for me because I, I have a family, I have kids, but and we're not touring as much as like the hardworking band. Okay. They, they've toured a lot in the past, but now they're kind of chill. They all have jobs. And, so it's uh, it fits me very very good because I'm home a lot. So okay, that's good. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's talk since we are gear nerds and that's what we're here for. Yes. Let's talk about your live rig. What yes. you're using on this tour? Uh, on this, this is, it's just this gig. It's not a tour. Okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> the only massive co one gig Cause, tour. Because uh, we're we're releasing an album in, in August, okay. so we've hold off on festivals okay. for this summer, and we're gonna go maxed out on next uh, summer oh, yeah. but uh, for this show I was using a, a fractal Axe 8 pedal and uh, a Fortin power amp 
So uh, it's very... Yeah, that's the mag magic box that everyone was talking about. Exactly. And it's basically just a power amp. The, the reason why I have it is because I can fit it into my uh, luggage to get it with the pedal. So it's a rig that I can take anywhere. Because a, a full-size head I cannot take anywhere. I mean, it's so it's a, a very good rig for me to bring on and have a consistent sound. So what? how do you get the preamp? Uh, what does make the preamp pre sound? Uh, that's the bracket little axe eight bottle. Yeah, yeah. So the Ford amp is just a power amp. Okay. So I can hook it up to a cabinet and have full blown sound. I mean, you and Jensen. Jensen has been standing here all since the gig. By the way, we oh, yeah, are like okay. half an hour after the gig. Oh yeah. Uh, you have two distinct guitar sounds, but yet fit very good. How do you make that happen? Because you have, because you can't really hear the two, two guitars. You're playing yes. the same thing most of the time and you can really hear that's two guitars. Yeah, we're, we're very different from each other how we play, but in this band, it, I mean, if it would be like a Dream Theater band, it would have been a problem because it would be like very floaty. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, it fits the Honda very well because yeah. it uh, gives it a bit more whip and uh, makes it more dynamic. In, so in where, the, where are you seated in the like EQ I'm, curve? Are you in the uh, high, mid, so where are you? Uh, I, I wish to be in the lower lower okay. part because I don't want to be the, the guitar that's, uh, that hurts your ears. So uh, yeah, but that's uh, that's the uh, the front of house guy. Okay. He sets that, that mix. But I mean, our playing is so different okay, too. So I mean, that, that makes it a lot different too. So. And your guitars, of course. This guy has a signature guitar, signature amp, signature everything. Yes. So here we're using signature hairdo. Signature. <laughs> you get, get, a, get don't you? Ola you hair. get a, get a lot of questions about your hair, don't you? Yes. yes. Uh, by the way, back to the guitar. Yes. So today there was one guitar in special, uh, in particular. Yes, uh, that's the Solar V. Yeah. Uh, an every tune equipped guitar with uh, Duncan Solar pickups, and it's uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah. What, what can I say? It looks great and it sounds great. That, that's a good thing. It makes, makes me look great. It, it does, it does. You really look like a metal god. But <laughs> is, it, is there a sonical difference between the regular solar and no. the old solar? Beam? No. I, I'm not a believer of uh, sonic differences in tone wood and stuff like that. Me neither. So, uh, no, I think they sound the same. Yeah. Is the feel of like, having a different part of this, yes. does it make you play in a different way? Or? Yes. I mean, you play in a different way. With, with a V-shaped car yep. or with a Super Strat or an Explorer, but the sound or tone, no, no. it's the same. So you, uh, as I said, you have a signature pickup, signature guitar, signature amp. Is there? Did I miss anything? Uh, no, that's it. That's it. I, it? I don't have strings, uh, which is basically that's the first thing you should get, I think. But. Uh, but no. in, in what order did you get this? It was the one that came before the other. Yeah, guitars were the first one. Okay, really. Yeah. And uh, I mean, amps was. Yeah, then I came. I went with Randall, and then I went with Washburn. So there was one brand before Washburn okay, that yeah. I went with. So and are, then, are they still the same company, Randall and Washburn? Or are they still yeah, they're the same. Okay. They're, they're owned by the same company. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so that's the order. So what's next then? Uh, well, well, will, will there be a signature uh, Ola England wireless or something? Nah, I mean, uh, like, I, like I said, I don't have that many signature products. It's the guitar and the amp, basically. The pickups, it's not a signature pickup. It's a pickup for the guitar. So okay. it's not like a signature. You can't buy it. Separately. No, you cannot, you cannot buy it. So it's a pickup for the guitar. Uh, so I have the guitar and the amps. And I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to do that much more. I mean, if you do a pedal, you have to use the pedal. And I mean, I don't, I don't like... I like to use stuff that I can support oh, yeah, a lot, yeah. and uh, just releasing signature pedals, it's not really, I mean, I'm, I'm happy where I am right now. Yeah, yeah. it sounded fantastic. Uh, just a last question yes. about, about your amp, because yeah. in Sweden we are kind of open-minded, but I can imagine in the rest of the world, and what, how did Randall react to you naming it Satan? At first they were like, yeah, that, uh, it's okay, it's okay. But then, you know, when they tried to pitch it into, like in the US, they have uh, have, <laughs> a, have the Bible Belt with uh, a lot of stores and a lot of churches. Didn't go too well there. But, uh, <laughs> and it's, uh, but I mean, it's been, I thought it would be more, but people are kind of like, yeah, it's just a name, which is good. I mean, there's always yeah, going to be- That's what it is. Yeah. It, for me, it's just a name. Yeah, and it's yeah. fun, I think it's funny. Yeah, it but a lot of people, there are people that are kind of, of course, like, yeah, that's so immature, blah, blah, fuck you. And, <laughs> but I mean, it's just a name. Like, give me a break. I think it's an awesome name. <laughs> we, re 
really envy of you. If we can get something signature, we will call it Satan as well. But now you've done it, so yeah. Sorry. Okay. Satan too. <laughs> Satan too. Okay. Thank you very much, Ola. Thank you. Thanks for a having. great time. Yeah. My uh, pleasure. Hope you have a... So what, what, what's next uh, live for you? What are you playing? Is it uh, the Haunter gigs in? Yeah, we, after we the released the album uh, in August. We play a lot of shows with the Haunted. I have something else up my sleeve too. Uh, so there's uh, there's a bunch of stuff happening. Looking forward to that one. So thank you again. Thank you. Have a great time. Thank you.